it today. Okay, is that camera straight? Hopefully. All right. I know my head always gets chopped off. I can't ever figure out where the angle is, but as long as you can see the guitar, that's the good stuff. If not, I'll have to re re reshoot this film. Okay, we're going to do Old MacDonald Had a Farm today. We're going to start on G, tall man up on six, ring finger down on one, pointer over on the fifth string, and we're going to put our pick down, and we're actually going to assign our fingers some strings. So our thumb is going to go on the sixth string. He's going to be in charge of three strings. Sixth string, fifth string, fourth string. In case you've forgotten the order of the strings, six is on top. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, eating apples daily grows big ears. So that's going to be E, A, D, <laughs> gross. You would think I would know this. I really don't. Um, grows. So it's going to be a G, B, and E. I can always figure it out if I need to, but I just never bothered to memorize them. I just kind of sort of know where they're at. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go, we're up here on, we're going to go six, and then, oh, so our thumb is in charge of six, five, and four. Our pointer is permanently assigned to three for this song and most other songs until you get a little bit more advanced. Tall man is permanently assigned to two, and ring finger is permanently assigned to one. Now, I like to rest my pinky on my pick guard here. Um, some people do, some people don't, but what that does is it keeps me from flying off, and then I land, I come back down and land on the wrong strings. That kind of keeps me anchored to the, to the right space over the hole in my guitar so I get a nice sound and my fingers don't go flying off that much. Then I kind of stay right here and I pick like that. You don't have to do that. If, you, if it's comfortable, do it. depends on how long your pinky is. I've seen some people some with some short pinkies that can't quite reach. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we're going to go six. We're going to, with our thumb, we're going to pluck down. And this isn't an out. It's kind of a down, okay? So you're going to pluck down with your thumb, and then under, then you're going to put your finger on three, where'd it go? Three, two, and one. And you're going to pluck those. Now, a lot of people try to pluck in the, when they're first starting out with straight fingers. Don't do that. Go ahead and bend those knuckles and go underneath the strings. It's not with your fingernails. That's too loud. Just with a little bit of skin. Okay, sometimes my nails hit it, and that's okay, too. It gets a nicer sound. But I'm not aiming for... I'm not aiming for that space between my skin and my fingernail. I'm aiming for the ball of the tip of my finger to just grab a little bit of skin and just kind of pluck it out. Can you see what I'm doing down there? So I'm just kind of bending my knuckles and then I pluck out. So just kind of practice that for a second. And you can practice with your thumb on six and then pluck. I call this six pluck. Six pluck. Six pluck. Just sit there and do that for a minute until it feels comfortable faster if you can. If you can't do that, then do this for five minutes a day. Pretty soon, it'll start to feel comfortable. It's really awkward at first, I know that, but eventually, you'll be able to do that. When you get bored with that, because that's kind of boring, we're going to alternate our bass notes. Now, on your chord sheet, it has, um, I don't have a chord sheet. On your chord sheet, it has an arrow. Let's see if I've got one here. Ah, oh, yay. Oh, this one doesn't have an arrow on it. This must be an old chord sheet. Shoot. Well, on the ones that you guys have, there's an arrow, and it should be pointing, like on G, there would be an arrow right here, and it shows that your the sixth string is your main, that's your main one. If you want to put a dot, in fact, maybe I'll even put that on your chord sheets. So the arrow is your main bass note, the dot is your alternating bass note. So we're going to go, the dot on, on G is a four, okay? Six, pluck, four, pluck, six, pluck, four, pluck. So we're going to start with our main bass note and then alternate because this is boring. Really boring. Okay? But once we add the four, then it starts to sound like a song. Okay? That's what we want. So just sit there and do that until you're really comfortable with it. Okay? Now we're going to sing. Old MacDonald. Stop. Okay, now change to a C. Five goes up on the fifth string and the tall man on four and ring on two. Okay, now our bass note on C is five. So we're gonna do five pluck, that's had a, that's all you get, okay? Then back to a G, tall man up on six. We're gonna do six pluck and then a four pluck. Ready, here we go. Farm E I. So I did six pluck, four pluck. Did you hear that? I'll do it again. Six pluck, four pluck, ready? Farm E I. Now I'm gonna go to a D, Pointer down on three, ring on, or tall man on one, and ring between on two. Our bass note on D is a four, and that's all we're going to get. So E, I, E, I, I just did a four plug, try it again. E, I, back to a G, tall man up on six, and we're going to do six pluck, pluck. So it's going to sound like this. Oh, pluck, pluck. So let's try that first line together, okay? 
So we're going to go, and I'm not going to say the words. I'm going to say what you're plucking, just to help you out here for a second. So it's going to sound like this. Six, pluck, four, pluck, change to C. Five, pluck, G. Six, pluck, then a four, pluck, four, pluck, D. Four, pluck, G. Six, pluck, pluck. Okay, now let's put in the words, okay? Six, pluck, four, pluck, change to C. Here we go. Old McDonald, change to C. Five is your bass note. Had a, back to G. Six, pluck. Farm, stay there, do a four pluck. E, I, D, four pluck. E, I, G, six pluck, pluck. O, pluck, pluck. Good, do it again for the second line. And on, sorry, no voice. And on his farm, they see. Had a G, six pluck. What do they have, cow? Cow, D, four pluck. No, no, ah, I lied, stay there, do a four pluck, but not to D yet. Okay, let's do that again, let's do cow, ready? Cow, six pluck, now do a four pluck. E, I, and your tendency is to switch chords, but don't switch there. Now switch to a D. E, I, G, six pluck. Oh, double pluck. Pluck, pluck. Now the moo moos. This is the easy part. We get to stay on G and do a bunch of six pluck, four plucks. Here we go. With a moo moo here. Just keep doing it. And a moo moo there. Don't change keys. Here a moo. Last line, six pluck, four pluck. Old McDonald, change to C, five pluck. Had a G, six pluck. Farm, stay there, do a four pluck. E, I, D, four pluck. E, I, G, six pluck, pluck. O, pluck, pluck. Yay, okay, let's put it together a little faster. I'm gonna sing what you're doing but I'm not going to sing the words, so you're just going to listen to me plucking. Okay, it's going to be lovely. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, six pluck, four pluck. Let's get started with that rhythm, and I'm going to start singing. Okay, so you're just sitting there doing that, and here I come with my directions. Six pluck, four pluck, C, five pluck, G, six pluck, four pluck, D, four pluck, G, six pluck, pluck. Repeat it for the second line, and
one more time fast. Here we go, ready? This is tricky. Okay, there's a little McDonald at a farm. If you can do it at that speed, you are getting pretty good. All right, awesome.